When you meet somebody for the first time and you you like them, like there's this mutual attraction and you can always tell, you know, guys are, are not as smart or intuitive as women are in terms of social interaction. But even so, a guy can always tell if a girl is interested in him. There's all these little cues and signs that are nonverbal uh, that are there. And so if you meet someone that you're attracted to and you can kind of tell that they're attracted to you, you want that situation to go as good as it possibly can. Date night fragrances exist for that specific reason. You want them to smell you as part of who you are is how you carry yourself and how you smell. So basically you want your fragrance to speak for you. Society tells us that in order to have something of quality, you have to spend a ton of money on it. And that's not always true. So when we return, I'm gonna show you 10 cheap date night fragrances that don't make you a cheap date. That and more, so stay tuned. The, the scent that you wear is extremely important, but you don't have to spend a ton of money on it. You can save that money instead and use it on your date. So that's what these 10 fragrances that I've curated for you today are for. They're to save you money and make you smell amazing. So today's list is gonna be in a top 10 format. So we're gonna go ahead and start with number 10. My number 10 inexpensive date night fragrance that's gonna be an awesome scent for you to portray who you are to your date comes from the house of Fiat, and it's called Fiat 500 for him. Came out in 2018, Veronique Nyberg is the perfumer, featuring top notes of grapefruit, Szechuan pepper, pink pepper, heart notes of geranium, iris, and black pepper, resting on a base of benzoin, patchouli, and vanilla. Now, I've talked about this fragrance before. It's in a kind of a quirky little uh, flacon. The smell is actually quite amazing for a nice little date night fragrance similar to Terry de Hermes. It's wrapped in a nice vanillic envelope, as it were, that covers the entire fragrance and the scent profile. It makes it slightly sweet, a little bit more creamy than Terry de Hermes is. It's a little bit more alluring and inviting. It's a decently unique smelling fragrance and the presentation is just really nice. It smells like a nice leather interior of a brand new car. So not only do you get that brand new car smell, but it's got a nice kind of a romantic heart to it. Fiat 500 for him. Our next fragrance came out in the year 2000. Michelle Almeray is the perfumer who created it. It's from Alfred Dunhill, and it is Dunhill Desire Red. This little guy is a powerhouse. I really enjoy Dunhill Red Desire. The performance on this is really nice. It projects out really well, so you have to hold back on those sprays. You're gonna be tempted to spray 10 sprays because you're like, you wanna be smelled. Like, can she smell me yet? You've got apple, you've got bergamot, green lemon, and neroli in the top. In the heart, you've got patchouli, you've got rose, and you've got teak wood, resting on a base of labdanum, musk, and vanilla. So again, you'll, you'll see vanilla in a lot of these date night fragrances because it's a wonderful note. Again, it's a very romantic note. It's creamy, it's sweet, and it has also some really nice bright notes there in the open. You've got apple, you've got lemon, that combination of warm musk and vanilla, and that neroli. That neroli is a wonderfully romantic note. Dunhill Desire has one job, and it does it. It does that job extremely well. It gets you noticed. And that's why Alfred Dunhill Desire Red takes my number nine spot. When you fall in love, some people have described that as a kind of fever that overcomes you. And this next fragrance couldn't agree more. It is from the house of Azaro, and it's called Amber Fever. Now, the fever that this is talking about is, a, is actually the note of amber which is such a dark, rich, complex note. It's often been called the note of romance. No, really, I just made that up. But it really is. Amber is like vanilla intense. That's what I really like about it, with a little touch of tobacco. That's what this fragrance is, basically. And it's just extremely, this is one of those very, very masculine, very sensual. This is one of the five fragrances in Azaro Sensual Blend for the original Azaro Porome line. Came out in 2018. In the top, it features French Clary Sage. In the heart, you've got Cacao Absolute and Frankincense. Resting on a base of our primary hitter is Amber. Then you've got uh, Benzoin and Tonka Bean. Just like the name implies, what you get here is a extremely dark, sensual, exhilarating and yet magnetic and alluring fragrance. Wonderfully warm, wonderfully alluring, and extremely romantic fragrant DNA that is Amber Fever, and it's extremely inexpensive. Azaro makes some really fine fragrances, so the quality is there, the quality is built into the fragrance, and that's why Azaro Pour Homme Amber Fever takes my number eight spot. 
Coming in at my number seven spot is a fragrance that Versace released in 1994. It is Versace Blue Jeans. Now, a lot of people aren't gonna think this is a date night fragrance, but let me just tell you, one thing all of these fragrances have in common is that they are slightly sweet, right? Because women, as a general rule, okay, this is a general rule, they like something that's a little bit darker, richer, and sweet. And if it swings masculine, that's where you want to be. And all of these do all of those things. It's a, it's a romantic fragrance. It has a lot of really nice romantic notes in it. Aniseed, basil, bergamot, rosewood, juniper, uh, citrus fruits are in the top. Extremely floral heart. Carnation, geranium, heliotrope, jasmine, lily of the valley, lavender, rose, sage, and fir. Resting on a base of amber, iris, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, uh, tonka bean, vanilla, vetiver, and cedar. So a ton, back in the 90s and some of the earlier 2000s, perfumers used to think that the more was better kind of scenario. So there were a ton of notes in the older fragrances. This one didn't get muddled by that. A lot of fragrances got muddled. And what I mean by that is the actual scent DNA, you know, where it's supposed to highlight something, got lost, completely lost. Because there's so much going on, you don't know which to smell first, so you're, you're, it's scent confusion. This is definitely not that. It's a complex fragrant DNA, as you could tell by all the notes in here, but you can actually smell most of them individually, and that's what makes a wonderful fragrance. Certain notes stand out, but as a whole, they come together and make something completely different. And this fragrance does that. And your date will very much appreciate it. And that's why Versace Blue Jeans makes my number seven spot. We're almost down to our last five. We're at number six right now, and taking my number six spot is a Hugo Boss fragrance called Hugo Boss Bottled Night. That's right, that super dark, almost purple glass flacon that it's in is really nice looking on the shelf because this fragrance smells really good. It's got a really solid oriental fougere date night essence about it. Now, as a performer, I'll tell you guys that up front. It's not a wonderful, it's not a beast of sillage. So it's gonna give you a good six, seven hours of longevity, but you know, if, if your date lasts that long, then you probably don't need a really good fragrance to help you out. You're probably doing okay. However, for these six to seven hours that this actually does perform, and it performs really well, it smells amazing and makes you smell amazing. Featuring top notes of birch, you've got birch leaf and lavender. In the heart, you've got cardamom, you've got jasmine and African violet. Resting on a base of psalmwood, you've got musky notes in there and sandalwood. I guess the attribute that I like most about this fragrance is it came out in 2010 and it doesn't smell 10 years old. It doesn't smell dated. It actually smells really relevant. It's dark, it's rich, it's slightly resinous, really fresh violet. So it's slightly floral, but the, the fragrance is all masculine. So it's a sophisticated in that way. And that's what I really like about this is it's timeless. And that's why it makes my number six spot. All right, guys, we're down to our top five fragrances that are cheap, yet don't make you a cheap date. My number five is an Azaro fragrance, and it is the Solarissimo Favignana. This is one in the three a trio of fragrances that were all named after islands. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. It's wonderful scent profile. In the top, you've got candied lemon, sage, got rum absolute and ginger in the heart. You've got Chinese cedar, you've got tobacco and amber, I think tobacco absolute, and then amber in the base. So as you can tell by those simple yet very effective fragrant notes, it's gonna be sweet. So it's definitely a sweet fragrance, but not overly sweet. It's got a really nice cedar. I love Chinese cedar. It's just a darker, a little bit richer cedar. And then of course you've got amber. Candied lemon is wonderful in the top. And then of course rum to give it a slight boozy. Now the boozy in this is not boozy boozy. It's a kind of a sweet boozy as rum is. Favignana is one of my favorite gourmand fragrances. It is a cheapy. I love this little powerhouse and that's why I use it quite frequently. It smells great. It has great performance. I get a good seven, eight hours out of this. At, at the core, this is a very nice romantic gourmand fragrance. And that's why Zaro Solarissimo Favignana takes my number five spot. Now I know this is gonna seem like an Azaro lineup. I can't apologize for that. Azaro just happens to make really good products at a really affordable price, and a lot of them happen to be really good date night fragrances. This next fragrance was also in part of the five sensual blend fragrances, and it is Azaro Forum Ginger Lover. 
Ginger Lover is probably my favorite out of the five that were released. It's spicy, it's warm, this is a little bit sweet. Sonia Constant and Michelle Garrard are the two perfumers that worked on this. You've got lime and cardamom in the top, ginger and cedar in the heart, and coumarin and vetiver in the base. So it's an unusual scent DNA, it's an unusual mix of fragrance notes there, but they're all designed to kind of move around and synergize each other. And that's what they do really, really well. Now this fragrance again, Zorro makes a wonderful fragrance. They use high quality ingredients. It surprises me that this, when it first came out, was as cheap as it was and as it is. It makes a fantastic addition to every man's and it actually performs really well. Now the one thing that you can always kind of count on when it comes to fragrances, the performance will often match the price because you know, you can't pay 20 bucks and get a 12 hour fragrance. It just, it happens, but it's kind of rare. This actually is a really good performer. You get about a good seven to eight hours of performance out of this, at least I do. This projects as well as it performs in terms of longevity. It smells so good. It's got a nice, really nice masculine smell with a slight gourmand edge to it. So it's kind of like the best of both worlds. And that's why Azaro Ginger Lover makes my number four spot for cheap date night fragrances that don't make you a cheap date. All right, guys, we're down to our top three cheap date night fragrances that don't make you a cheap date. Now this one kind of surprised me when I first smelled it. I'd heard some things about it. I'd seen it in lists that people had had, seen pictures of it online. I thought, you know what, I'll give it a shot. To me, it just looked cheap. I didn't really have a lot of expectations, but when I got it and I tried it out, you guys were actually with me, it was in a fragrance hall, it was really, really good. And the more that I smell this and the more that I wear it, the more that I really have come to enjoy it. It is Sean John's 3AM. Elias Ermenides is the perfumer for this. You've got bergamot, cardamom, mandarin orange in the open. You've got fig, orange blossom, and geranium in the heart. You've got tonic water, suede, and what they call a sensual skin accord which is similar to like a solar note, slightly salty, slightly warm. And that's what is actually, that's a, a great way to describe this because it's a very intimate smelling fragrance. The performance is really good on this fragrance. It actually projects really well and it speaks volumes about who you are. It says that you're sophisticated. It says that you're sensitive. It says you're intelligent. A lot goes on in a woman's mind when she smells a guy and she smells his fragrance. If she likes it, if she likes it, She's gonna say, this guy makes good decisions. He picked a fragrance that I really enjoy. What else? That means he's probably gonna be able to pick other things, dates, scenarios, and environments that I'll enjoy. I mean, her mind jumps to the future. Like, women are like that. They have a really amazing imagination uh, if you capture it, right? Put her in the right frame of mind. This actually will go a very long way to doing that, and that's why it's in my number three spot. Coming in at my number two is a fragrance by Philip Romano. It is from the house of Abercrombie and Fitch, and it is First Instinct Extreme. This little wonder, and I say little because this is the 50 ml bottle, this is one of those that you wanna spray on as soon as you get out of the shower. Like if you're going, getting ready for a date, you clean up, you spray this on. It has a really nice boozy note in the top that you don't really, it's not super boozy, but it's gin tonic. And then you've got that Kawano melon, which is what this fragrance is all about. It's got the super fruit, super melony smell in the top and the open, but it's not like super melon. It's more like a uh, kind of like a cucumber melon combination. You've got Szechuan pepper, you've got uh, violet leaf, and then some citrus fruits in the heart, resting on a base of suede and amber. So you've got some nice light leather essence, and then that warm kind of a sensual amber in the base. So this fragrance starts out super bright. It's almost, again, I, I use the scenario of a date because it's the perfect analogy. It starts out super exciting, then it slows a little bit, and as you get into the heart of the fragrance, it gets a little bit more serious. The floral notes come to the fore, so it's a nice mix of fruits and florals. But when a date goes really well and it goes really smooth, you know it, you both know it. You're not, you don't scratch your head and go home wondering, wondering if you did good or wondering if they liked you. You know, you know, and if you don't know, that's your answer. <laughs> this fragrance will help you know. And that's why Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct Extreme is my number two spot. All right, we're down to our number one spot of 
cheap date night fragrances that don't make you a cheap date. It's an underdog. It still remains relatively unknown. It is from the house of Guess, and you may already have guessed it. It is Guess Seductive Homme Noir. It is similar, and I've compared it before to Armani Code Absolu. It doesn't have that bite or that kick that Absolu does. Absolu is a little bit spicier, but it comes really close. It's almost like it's a, a little bit quieter relative of Code Absolu. Jerome Epinette is the perfumer that created this. In the top, you've got black pepper, you've got grapefruit and nutmeg, which is an interesting place to put nutmeg. It's usually either in the heart or in the base, uh, but no, it says an introductory note, which is kind of neat. And you actually do get that little bit darker, richer essence in the very open. And that's maybe why I like it so much because it's paired with that grapefruit, so it's got citric spicy opening, which is cool. You've got lavender, apple, and orange blossom in the heart, and therein lies the similarity to Code Absolu. It's also got some of those notes in it as well, including the apple. Resting at a base of tonka beans, sandalwood, and liquid ambar, or liquid amber, however you want to say it. Almost note for note, like Armani Code Absolu, at a fraction of the cost. So a 100 ml bottle is gonna cost you around 15 to $17. And that's an amazing deal, amazing. Especially when you get good performance out of this. I can't say enough about this fragrance, so I'm probably gonna do a full on review of it very soon because it's so cheap and because it smells so good. And it's just all around a great, unilaterally great, almost signature scent type fragrance. Even though I do make fun, because you can spin the lid around, it does feel relatively cheap, because it is. But that doesn't mean the fragrance smells cheap. It smells really good. And that's why Guest Seductive Om Noir makes my number one spot. Now you're ready to go out on that date. You have all these choices to choose from. You've got 10 fragrances that will get you where you wanna be. And you don't have to spend a ton of money to get really good quality fragrances in your arsenal. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I hope you and your family continue to stay safe during these holidays. I'm Tommy with Studio Sense, and I'll see you tomorrow.